Wilson. We'll talk to Allie LaForce, who's on the sidelines as well. Allie, take it away. Thanks, Brian. Well, Clay Thompson asked what he thinks about when he's shooting. He said, quote, nothing. You want to have a clear mind, a free consciousness, and just let it fly. When you go with the flow, you're in rhythm, and you're not really thinking about it, that's when it feels the best. Brian? Uh, it's a thing of beauty, Allie. Thank you. And a look now at a few years' worth of data. Some of the assist numbers under the microscope for James Harden. And that decline in assist numbers over the last few years is what has made him more of a one-note player on offense. If he could integrate more passing back into his game, he'd be giving opposing defenses a much harder time. The starters for the Golden State Warriors. Wiggins and Green make up the forwards. Jordan Poole out there with Smith. And it's Wiseman in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Philadelphia. Bible and Harris at the three and the four. James Harden. Embiid in at the five spot. Well, you got to expect a low scoring game tonight, Grant. Two oh. terrific defensive clubs fighting to lock each other down. Both these teams are elite on the defensive end. These guys won't be making it easy out there. When there's lots of stops, lots of forced turnovers, it can be very difficult to find a scoring rhythm. Now, here's Wiseman. Poole finds Green over Harris. The rebound by Embiid. to Maxi. Harden with a screen on pool. Outside for Harden. Five on the clock. Hits the three-pointer. You know, very few players have the license from three-point range that Harden has. His license has no expiration date on it. Now here's Poole. Last game with 30. The floater. It's good. Jordan Poole. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Tybal against Wiggins. Outside Tybal. Outside for Harden. From behind the arc. Sends it home from three-point land. Harden's got six points. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows. It. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now here's Smith. As far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. Yeah, Smith doing a nice job getting his teammates involved. Terrific in spot in the open man. Here's Maxi. Pass to Embiid. Now Harden fires the three. Won't go. His first miss. He's two of three now. Here in the first quarter, with about two minutes gone by. Wiseman against Harris. And that one's good. Wiseman. And that ties it up. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. And here's Harden. We saw him with 19 his last time out. Maxi passes to Embiid. Right to Maxi. Embiid is screen on pool. 11 feet out. No good. A bit long that time. The Warriors have gone three of four. Off to a nice start. Yeah, you know, after a couple down years with key players injured, it's safe to say the Cold State Warriors are back. Here's Wiseman. Again, the Warriors score. Boy, they're on fire right now. Cooking with pass, starting this one out. Four or five. Pass to Embiid. Back to Maxi. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to go on Jordan Poole. The Warriors are back to contending for championships. Yes, they are. A testament to their perseverance and belief in themselves. Once they got healthy, they would be a threat. And they've been a fun team to watch as they get back to form. That free throw's good for Maxi. Thank <laughs> you. 
And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And the improvement of Tyrese Maxey's three-point shot from his first season to second year, just unprecedented. He improved by over 12% with a huge increase in attempts as well. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they wanted to take that again. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you gotta knock it down. Now here's Thibel. He had nine points in his last time out. Outside Maxi. Here's Harden. The Sixers again can't hit. And for a player with the speed and quickness of Maxi, leveling up that three-point shot changes everything for him. Oh, so true, B.A. It becomes pick your poison with him. And it put him in a conversation last year for most improved players. Now here's Wiggins. They look to him to score consistently, averaging around 13 and a half a game. Weissman with the jam. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changing. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. Wiggins passes to Smith. Back to Wiggins. Wiseman. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. And they're really working the paint now. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. They've done a great job establishing an inside presence. Now that'll open up more options offensively throughout the remainder of the game. One other thing they've done really well, moving the ball around. They've done a nice job not settling for that initial option and making that extra pass. And at this point, we're just about halfway through the season. Some teams, Clark, play great basketball right now. And the real challenge is to maintain that if you're one of those teams, to continue to play at a high level, to continue to trust and put in the work to perform. Outside for Harden. Embiid, a screen on Smith. Harden missing again. Guys, this hasn't been his quarter. I mean, to me, he just doesn't look completely comfortable or confident. Smith outside. Pass to Wiggins. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. That's on Joel Embiid. And when you see Wiggins starting to develop that mindset, that mental edge, knows he has the defender in trouble, he's able to draw the foul as a result. Andrew Wiggins is a great example of how positions have changed. Came into the league playing a lot of the two. Now, we see him at times playing a bunch at the four. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Embiid. So he makes one of two, and the second one misses. And for Wiggins, he'll play the stretch four time. Brad, he's extremely versatile. And B.A., that shows just how the game has evolved. Wiggins is a traditional small forward. But we've seen that push to small ball, shifting Andrew to the four and even the five during stretches. He's a potent mix of effort and ability. Hard to shut down a player of his caliber. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. And I love the way he played downhill on that drive. Love the attack mentality in a close game. Here's Wiseman. Again gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Now here's Harden. Give him eight. Pass to Thibel. Wiggins with a steal. Here's Green. Uses 
the glass to finish the layup. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Maxi against Poole. Three-pointer, Harden. Trails it from deep. Harden's got 11. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of move. Smith passes to Wiseman. Back to Smith. Green against Harris. Green up top. He's averaging about six points per game. Shot clock at three. Here's Smith. It's hauled in by the Sixers. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have missed that shot. Blocked by Green. Green takes great pride in his defense now. He loves the nine shots at the rim and playing bigger than his 6'8 frame would lead you to believe. And what a phenomenal replay of that impressive rejection. An emphatic rejection that was. Boy, you've got to appreciate that kind of forceful in-your-face defense. And the 76ers with some changes. Tucker comes in for Harris. And it's Melton in for James Harden. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for the Warriors. Melton finds Thibel. Melton on the wing. Knocked away. Oh, and a fast break for the Warriors. The three from Thompson. The shot that time, not on target. Now the 76ers take it the other way. They put up a nice win against Sacramento last time out. Oh, man, they were in total control. Really doing anything they wanted. It was that level of dominance. And, you know, everything seemed to just kind of flow naturally for them. It felt like they were in a groove from the opening tip. Here's Smith. After the Sixers picked up the basket a moment ago. Shot clock at six. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Outside Maxi. Back to Melton. Harold, the screen on Smith. And Melton, here we go. Pass to Harold. Good work defensively by Wiseman. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. Melton with the ball. Guarded out by Wiseman. Smith against Melton. Maxi with it. And he lobs it up! Now Green. Eight points in his last time out. Pass to Wiseman. Smith outside. And here is Green. Melton covers. Looking to end the drought. And it's Green missing. Philadelphia has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. Melton outside. Now Maxi, defended by Thompson. Maxi against Thompson to the inside. And Carroll with the strong finish. It's not complicated. There's a reason Harold shoots a high percentage because he finds ways to get dumps like this. Well, whenever you bring up the 76ers, you instantly think of Joel Embiid. Oh, no question. He's the face of this franchise. Embiid is as good as anyone in the league. Off the floor, Joel is willing to take the blame when things don't go right. That's who you want as a leader. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over.
for Philadelphia. First in opponent field goal percentage. And they're the third highest scoring team in the NBA, executing at a high level. And we've talked about the beautiful game before. When you think of that term, great ball movement, team chemistry, they both come to mind. And these guys exemplify both to a T with how many assists they rack up. Smith outside. Over Milton. And again, no good by Golden State. The Sixers trailing. Pass to Tucker. Harrell down low, covered by Smith. Harrell, no good. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Milton against DiVincenzo. 3, Smith drains the triple. And I'll tell you what, if the defender is not on Smith before the pass, it's too late because he's always ready to fire and he burns. Now here's Milton. Right now averaging 5.5 a, a game. Thibault finds Harrell. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Warriors. Here's a look at some stats for Joel Embiid. And he's gone cold over the last 10 games, guys. His scoring numbers are down, and he can't seem to get out of this rough patch. He's got to get himself going tonight, or they'll start losing patience with him. Golden State has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Smith passes to Thompson. DiVincenzo against Melton. Kaminga with a screen on Melton. Pass to Kaminga. 11 feet out. And they recover it to three. Smith. Another three for Golden State. Boy, you got to get out on Smith from deep. He's very good at stroking it from downtown. Melton with the ball. Outside Tucker. Back to Melton. To the paint. There's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. They have so much young talent for the Warriors. Many said they should trade for veterans. They resisted. And they won a title anyways. I mean, with the salary cap perhaps their greatest obstacle, having contributors on cost-controlled rookie contracts sure helps. First one falls. You know, in the past several seasons, there's been one constant with the 76ers. They're going to be among the best defensive teams in the league. No good on the second free throw. The Warriors leading. DiVincenzo with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Thompson outside. Six to shoot. Pass to Kaminga. For three, DiVincenzo. Another shot. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Now on Melvin. Shooting for Golden State. Jonathan Kaminga, two shots. That free throw, no good. He's good on the second. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Smith against Melton. Pass to Melton. Harold the screen. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for your Sixers, 
Anthony Melton. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops it first. And that's good as he hits both shots. Golden State has gone 2 of 5 from deep. Smith outside. Pass to Thompson. Out of bounds. It'll be Philadelphia's ball. for the first quarter. The Warriors on top, leading by five. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere. 25. Think about the Warriors here in this one. That's <laughs> simple. Offensively, they limited their turnovers. Defensively, they forced turnovers. Yeah, I like the way they forced a ton of turnovers and then took advantage of those turnovers with opportunistic baskets. Here's Milton. Harden is the two with Harris playing small forward. Up front, it's Tucker at the four, next to Embiid in the middle. And it's Milton in at the one. That's the group for Philadelphia to kick off the second quarter. Embiid has such balance and agility for a big man. He's able to work through contact and still finish with touch. Milton against DiVincenzo. Pass to Kaminga. Clock at six. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Count the basket. Poole's got his second basket. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Outside Milton. Embiid a screen on Thompson. Here's Harris. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. Boy, this is the threat that Harris poses now. He's a scorer from every level. Inside, three-point land, and at the rim. There's a lot to like about Tobias Harris. His comportment, his versatility. He's adaptable. I think that stands out as well. I mean, he's had to play a lot of roles on different teams, and he's done them all at a high level. Now here's Kaminga. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Indiana. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Pass to Embiid. Outside Harden. With his first shot attempt. And finished off by Tucker inside. Now with Harris, he's willing to sacrifice a larger role for the betterment of his team. Yeah, I think that speaks to his desire to play winning basketball, to play the game the right way, to play to his strengths and not try to do more than he can. Whether he's looked at as a primary scoring option or simply being a spot-up shooter or one of three options, Harris has that disposition that says, I'll do whatever it takes. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Thanks, Brian. James Harden, with plenty of confidence, said not to brag or anything, but I'm really good at this game. I'm unselfish, I play the right way, I don't try to do anything I can't do, or that doesn't benefit our team, and that mindset keeps me in a good place. Yeah? Very self-assured, Alan. Thank you. Pass to DiVincenzo. Here's Green. DiVincenzo, pass to Kaminga. Down low. Here's Poole. And it's blocked by Embiid! Look at how well Embiid uses his size on defense. Down the shot and doing it with the 
finds Milton. And he drives in. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Warriors. And they crack the top five in assists. They really know how to get the whole squad involved on the offensive action. And their defense you talked about. Holding opponents to a very low field goal percentage. They play alert, aggressive D that does not allow many open shots. The Warriors have gone two of four here in the second quarter. Here's Poole. His offense has been fantastic. Averaging just over 17 a game. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, PA. Hey, little exclamation point. Hey, they've got a nice, comfortable lead here, fellas. Might as well keep it simple. Do it a plain, simple one-handed, just like Kyle can. Pass to Harden. Shoots over Thompson. And too long on the shot. Well, that's a good player missing from point blank range. That's one you got to convert. Now Green. Back to DiVincenzo. Outside Kaminga. Now here's Thompson. Bounded by Harris. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And think back to 2015, Grant. Clay Thompson with the best quarter in league history. Oh, VA. 37 points from him in one quarter, setting an NBA record. Clay 13 for 13 from the field and 9 for 9 from deep, taking only four dribbles the entire time. Only Clay Thompson, guys. And he knocks down the first one. So many incredible players, Clark. What elite talent really takes your breath away? Is it passing or shooting, handles, or maybe those high-flying dunkers? Yeah, for me, I think it's seeing the game, and that goes back to passing. Being able to see a player so ahead, that really excites me. Because not, a, not many players can do that. Scoring, you got a bunch of guys that can do that. Athleticism is actually 13 to a dozen in today's NBA. So I like the vision and passing that is the skill that most excites me. Now here's Milton. An 11 point game for him in the win against Sacramento. Indeed passes to Maxi. To win the crowd. Ooh, rejected by Wiseman. Pass to Pool. Offensive rebound. And the shot's good by Wiggins. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now here's Maxi. Looking at his numbers. Currently, he's averaging around nine points a game. They caught the Sixers. Need to pull it up here. Three point Harden. The Sixers with another miss. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebound. Especially when they're scoring the ball in a decent field the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. Now here's Poole. They lead by the biggest margin of the game at nine. Back to Thompson. Let's the three fly. The rebound by Embiid. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Passes to Embiid. For three, Maxi. And it's Wiseman with the rebound. Wiseman's got six rebounds here today. Pass to Poole. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. And now an 11-point Warrior lead. He hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. And Philadelphia calls time here.
Smith. He's checked in for the Warriors. And now in December, here's what the Eastern Conference standings look like. You take a look at Philadelphia. They've been outstanding halfway through this season, looking cohesive and playing for one another. Checking out Philadelphia, I recall them having a lot of naysayers at the start of the season, but now they may not have any. This team is ready for a deep playoff run. They do have the pieces in place for a title run, but the competition in the playoff will be stiff. Now here's Harris. An 11 point game for him and the win against Sacramento. And with all the attention he drew offensively, he did a great job of just kicking to the open man. Here's Maxi. I like seeing Smith use his good speed and quick hands to bother shooters. And it's always good to see young players getting after it on the defensive end. Wiggins outside. Screened by Wiseman. Wiggins passes to Wiseman. Embiid with a steal. Harris on the wing. Guarded by Poole. Embiid. With the That's good vision from Harris. I mean, he draws so much attention himself, so he's become a capable passer. I don't think there's any question. The Sixers made the biggest trade of last season, sending a huge package to the Nets, getting James Harden in return. Now here's Wiseman. He had nine points in his last time out. Four on the clock. Here's Smith. Off the back iron and out. They parked in that Philly Brooklyn trade. There were five players and two first round draft picks involved. And BA, they were big time players for the game. Simmons, Drummond, Seth Curry. And if you're playing for a title, you can add James Harden. I think you got to take that chance. Harris misses. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. And you guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamour stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. Now here's Wiseman. He's got 11. Smith passes to Green. Goes up at the strike. And it's blocked by Embiid. Taxi against Poole. And it's Maxi missing. Trailing here in the game, you can look at his performance as a direct indicator of why they're losing. Cool outside. To the middle. Fader on the way. And Wiseman the bucket on the assist by Poole. Wiseman's got 13. Scoring the ball, he has been lethal and efficient. Wow. And Philadelphia calls time here. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. That'll drive your coach nuts. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. with some changes. Harrell's checked in for Tobias Harris. Thibel comes in for Milton. And it's Melton in for Harden.
now here's Maxi. In his last outing, eight points for him. Pass to Embiid. And out of bounds. The Warriors will take it. And a chance now to look at the schedule for the Golden State Warriors. On Sunday, they're off to Toronto to face off with the Raptors. And then on Tuesday, they're off to New York to face off with the Knicks. And you know for that matchup with the Nets, it's the second game of a back-to-back, -back, so you know there'll be some heavy legs out there. Playing that much basketball in that short amount of time really takes its toll on your body. Now here's Wiggins. They lead by 11, largest margin of the game. Six on the shot clock. Wing shot on the way. Count that bucket. Jordan Poole. Poole's got six points in the quarter. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. Melton passes to Embiid. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's on James Weisman. <laughs> and last season's scoring champion, Joel Embiid. The first center to lead the league in scoring since Big Shaq way back in the 2000 season. And Joel Embiid, last season, the first center to average over 30 a game since Moses Malone did it back in 1982. Grant. Oh, B.A., talk about historic company. And how about this? Also the first ever international player to lead the NBA in scoring, too. I mean, he won't be the last with the way things are. The first free throw is good. You know, what I respect about Embiid, in addition to his tremendous skill and size, is his willingness to keep working on himself. He's already an elite talent, but if he sees any room for improvement, he'll go to work to make it happen. And Embiid drops them both. This is really amazing. I mean, from March 1st, 2014, October 26, 2016, Joel Embiid didn't play in a basketball game. 31 long months rehabbing back and foot in. Now here's Wiggins. He's got five. Releases from 15. And that one drops for him. Poole's got 10. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this sport. Maxi passes to Thibel. Wiseman against Embiid. Embiid drawing the double team. Outside Maxi. Rebounded by Green. Now well, give Philadelphia credit. They didn't rush Embiid back. They, in fact, trusted the process. Pun intended, folks. And Joel has returned the favor. An MVP caliber center who changes a franchise. He is a franchise cornerstone piece. A great example of how being patient and doing what's best for the player ends up being a winning combination for all. And it's the Sixers for the ball. The Warriors getting their last shot to go. Melton with the ball. Guarded down by Weissman. They get it back. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. And it's Weissman with the chance. Well, part of the game plan was to neutralize the crowd. And guess what? Mission accomplished. And what's been impressive is that it's not been any one play. It's been a collective effort, contributions from everybody. Here's Thibel. After the Warriors picking up a basket just a moment ago. And there's the foul. It'll go on to T. Thibel. That's his first foul. A great job to establish position and square up. Excellent example of toughness and physicality on defense. Got his nose right in the middle of things and made a play. Tucker's checked in for the Sixers. Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. DiVincenzo comes in for Poole. Now here's Kaminga. He's got five. Inside. And it's Wiseman with the jam. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Here's Maxi. Pass to Harrell. Back to Maxi. To halt the run. The Warriors pull it in. Wiggins got five rebounds in the game. The way he's struggling this quarter, he's only adding to their troubles. They need his offense to come around. And the ball out of play. The Sixers will have it. Greens check in for Wiseman. 
Warriors substitution to Michael Green. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Maxi passes to Harold. Melton outside. Outside Maxi. 29 seconds left in the half. From 10 feet away. That shot off the mark. And Golden State will come the other way. I and mean, he's yet to make a shot this quarter. At some point, you got to look for other ways to impact the game. And here's Wiggins. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep three-point range, it doesn't go for him. And so it's the Golden State Warriors out in front by 19 going into the break. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Guys, thanks. Andrew, this team has set the tone at the defensive end. What's working for you? Uh, we just got after it. That's the main thing. You know, we just trying to make them uncomfortable. Catch everything. And, you know, we were converting on the other side. It's all about the effort. Back to you. All right, Allie, thanks for that. We will see everyone right back after this break. We're ready for the second half. Welcome everybody, let's get right to it. It's been nothing short of a tremendous challenge for the Philadelphia 76ers. And one of the main reasons they're down right now is because of their rebounding problems. They're getting outworked, outclassed, not bringing the intensity, not willing to get their hands dirty. They're playing like wimps. And let's focus now on the two opposing guys who were battling in the first half. There were sparks out there. Two guys clearly battling for the spot, both putting on a show. You just hope it doesn't become an all-hero ball. Yeah, it's the scoreboard that decides the real winner in the end. That's pretty profound on my part, don't you think? Yes, it does. Glad you could join us. Brian Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. Maybe things will tighten up here in the second. One guy getting it done is James Wiseman. And in the first half, he dominated in the post. He got the looks he wanted and was able to execute. Yeah, you know what? I think he's doing exactly what he has to do. Using his body, shaking off contact, and then finishing at the rim. And for the 76ers, they're shooting just around 32% from the field. Kick it off the second half. Here's Steve Kerr's five. Wiggins and Green make up the forwards. Jordan Poole out there with Dennis Smith. And it's Wiseman in at the five, roaming the paint. And the Warriors shooting is around 55% so far. Wiggins passes to Smith. Wiggins outside. To the inside, 
six to shoot. And it's Wiseman with the jab. Staying alert and aware. Wiggins sees his man flash to an open spot. Passes right on the money. Outside Maxi. Harden with a screen on pool. Maxi with it. Guarded by Smith. Here's Harden. And his fifth make of the game in 12 attempts. A guy like Harden makes the coach look really good. I mean, you can rely on him to consistently give you big scoring performances. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, they have a long way to go, but attacking the rim like that is a great way to start a comeback. Full shot is off. This Sixer squad is struggling. Outside Harden. Pass to Maxi. The speed and shooting Smith possesses is dangerous. I mean, a speedy point guard who continues to get better. And so he makes both from the line. For Philadelphia, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. The pass to Thibel. Back to Harden. Five to shoot. Nice move. Warriors with the rebound. Green's got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Poole. Wiggins outside. Now Smith. Give him eight points now. Down low. Here's Wiseman. He can't get it to go. Excellent D there from Embiid. Bible with it. Green picks him up. Harris with it. Up and over Smith. Harris misses. That's a shot he like, back. He's usually going to make those. And watching Draymond Green play. Grant, he's the quarterback on both ends. I love that, B.A. Defensively, constantly calling out instructions on how to switch. Keeping everyone organized. And offensively, Green is an incredible passer. Sees guys get open before they do. And the Warriors making a switch here. Thompson's checked in. Ray Thompson. Wiseman finds Green. Wiseman a screen on Harris. Back to Wiseman. Whistle blows. Yep, that's going to be a travel. Rare turnover for them tonight. They protected the ball, and they're trying to protect this lead. And the 76ers making a change here. Milton has checked in. And for Philadelphia, they're shooting only 33%. Not exactly consistent offense. Pass to Harden. Over Smith. The offensive rebound. And the basket by Embiid. Hey, good luck trying to move Embiid off the block. Joel has position move. There's not much anybody can do to stop him. Smith with it. Give him eight points now. Pool outside. Launches a three. 
Joel Embiid with the board. Embiid's got rebound number eight here already in the game. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Ryan Sixers head coach Doc Rivers earned the nickname Doc back in college for wearing a t-shirt with Jules Irving on it. In the NBA, he said, quote, the first game I started was against the Sixers. I went over and said, um, Dr. J, how are you? And he said, Doc, how are you? I said, no, no, I'm Glenn. But he said, no, you're Doc. And that made me feel like a million bucks. Guys? All right, thanks, Sally. So it's the Warriors now, following the score by Philadelphia. To the paint. Here's Smith. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And they've been able to maintain this lead despite this inconsistency from the field. Milton passes to Harden. Knocks down the triple. Harden's got 18. Harden has the ultimate green light. Green with his uber green, including launching from outside of the state. Timeout called the Warriors. He's checked in for the Warriors. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Poole on the wing, defended by Harden. Poole, the pass to Wiseman. Thompson outside. Oh, and just miss after miss right now. Outside Harden. Pass to Harris. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to go on Draymond Green. You know, looking to score often from there, Harris is excellent at drawing the defense's attention and fouls. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Warriors. You know, all game long, they've imposed their will on the interior, scoring a lot of points in the painted area. And we've also seen them attack from the post. A lot of key possessions have ended with them scoring on the block. And the first one at the line is good. You know, over time, I think Harris has become really good at accepting more responsibility, and that's part of learning how to be a leader. And the 76ers making a change here. Melton's checked in. Good on both. He's making the most of every trip to the line, providing for his team. And for the Warriors, they're shooting at a respectable 49%. Harden against Poole. And it's Thompson that time on the assist by Poole. Poole's got four assists now tonight. As his career has developed, Clay has added this to his arsenal, becoming more than just a shooter. Now here's Melton. Pass to Harden. We throw line jumper. And it's Wiseman with the rebound. Wiseman's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. The jump hook. No good off the glass. Now the 76ers with it. They're on a 
13 to 4 run. Milton passes to Embiid. Harris outside. Lock at four. Jacks up at three. Unable to get that one. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. When this game is done, they'll be off to Toronto taking on the Raptors. And that'll be game four of this six-game stretch on the road. Now here's Wiseman. 19 points in the game. And in one move ahead of the defense, a solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that thing, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other, and that's how you succeed in this league. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. You know, that's how it goes with him and me. His hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for the Sixers. Tucker comes in for Tobias Harris. Green's checked in for the Warriors. DiVincenzo comes in for Poole. Tell you what, a lot can be said about the contract Harden took to stay in Philly. Took less than what he commanded to help the team sign depth and rotation players. A very big gesture from Harden, showing just how much he wants to win in Philly. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count one, and he'll shoot one more at the line. So we'll see Jonathan Kaminga go to the line here. James Harden picks one up. coaches say including Warriors coach Steve Kerr about load management if you want to see the stars play more often cut the schedule back maybe 72 games grant your thoughts you know B.A. this is a problem and a concern I think for the league you go back 20 30 years ago stars played every night when available now you're not seeing that with the workload and the back-to-back -back and the concern with players and their safety and the amounts of money they make over their contracts 72 games is a possibility, but I prefer to keep it at 82. Maybe I'm just a traditional. Now here's Milton. Milton outside. Outside Harden. Damn, Harden with the slam. You know, when Harden gets deep inside position, he's ready for the throwdown because he's more athletic. The people give him credit for it. Tries again. And Thompson with a lay-in. Thompson's got six points. And that's a backbreaker for the defense. I mean, offensive boards like that run momentum against you. Well, you know, that's the way it's going to be for them today, fellas. Can't sustain any momentum. The offense sort of clawing back to respectability. Let's see if they can keep building on this. The Warriors leading. Outside, DiVincenzo. Pass to Green. Outside, Green. DiVincenzo on the wing. Green with a screen on Milton. DiVincenzo with it. Picked up by Tucker. And that'll be Golden State's ball as it goes out of bounds. Warriors able to keep possession. Thibel, he's checked in for Milton. Andrew Wiggins checked in for the Warriors. Just three to shoot. They grab their own miss. Here's Thompson. And he converts the layup. Thompson's got six in the quarter. Philadelphia has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Pass to Thibault. Back to Melton. Up top, Harden. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. And Harden, the former league MVP, 
three-time scoring champ. Grant, the only thing he's missing is a title. Yeah, B.A. I mean, it would only help cement his legacy. For years, he'd carry his team only to run out of gas in the playoffs. But postseason success counts for a lot when it's all said and done. Good from Harden. They're doing some good work at the line this half. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. Now here's DiVincenzo. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Here's Wiggins. Good work defensively by Thibel. Philadelphia's gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Melton against Thompson. Fires for three. Rebounded by Green. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Here's Kaminga. Rebound by the 76ers. Here's Hale. He's been productive. Averaging just over seven points a game. And Dante DiVincenzo is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. And so here is Philadelphia. Trailing by eight. From deep, Melton. Doesn't go for him. Golden State has got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. Harrell against DiVincenzo. And here's Thompson for 3. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Harrell's got 4 rebounds in the game. Melton against Kaminga. Melton misses. Well, the Warriors shooting around 32% in the third quarter. Pass to DiVincenzo. We've got 128 left to play in the third quarter here. Here's Thompson. Banked it in off the glass. Thompson's got 10 points. And, you know, we've seen a much different version of him in this half, guys. He's been sharper, more focused, and more assertive. Melton passes to Harden. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Harden. Tyrese Maxey's checked in for Philadelphia. Five left in the third. Pass to Thompson. Thompson with a screen. Outside. DiVincenzo. Outside Kaminga. Just five on the clock. And here's Thompson for three. The shot off that time. And Philadelphia the other way now. They'll be hosting Toronto for their next one. Melton outside. Tries to break his ice. And Maxi, the bucket. On the assist from Melton. Melton's got his third assist of the night. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Ooh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That one on Melton. When DiVincenzo is aggressive on offense, he's capable of getting calls when he's being assertive and attacking the rim. That free throw no good from DiVincenzo. And really strong at the line since the break. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. Smith, he's checked in for Thompson. one of two from the strike. Boy, the upside DiVincenzo has is obvious. I mean, now it's up to him to continue working on his game and keep getting better. Now here's 
Melton. He has seven. Outside Maxi. Here's the three. The shot. No good. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And just a selfless decision from your two guard, showing his ability to get his teammates good looks. Yeah, and as a two guard, he's typically not a reluctant shooter, so it was really nice to see him orchestrating for a teammate instead. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. Warriors leading. Harrison Embiid is playing up front. The Anthony Melton out there with Maxi, And it's Thibault in at the three. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. There's a screen by Kuminga. Here's Poole. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Reporter and B knocks down the long chain. And after a rough first half, they finally, finally find a nice move here. Smith against Melton. Pass to Poole. Back to Smith. Green with a screen on Melton. Here's Smith. And then B with the block. Golden State will retain possession. Wiseman, he's checked in for Green. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Two on the clock. Wiggins, no good. Analytics already don't favor the mid-range jumper, let alone against exceptional defense. And Harris throws it down. I'll tell you what, fellas, you like seeing Harris be engaged from there. I mean, refusing to settle for the simple layup. Nice. Here's Smith. After the Sixers picked up a basket a moment ago. And placed off a so whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. Doing a decent amount of time before his first turnover there. It's really been a good, safe stretch of basketball for him to this point. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole. That's his third foul so far. Third personal foul. First team foul. Here's Melton. Harris outside. Pass to Embiid. That falls. Nice set up by Harris. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with the four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Now pull. Wiseman finds Smith. Domingo with it. Pounded by Harris. Wiggins with it. From downtown. Parries it from three. And the Warriors lead by seven. An excellent score off the dribble. Wiggins starting to excel in his head shoot game, too. And he's going on the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Philadelphia, the Anthony Melton. Two shots. 
And that one misses. And the 76ers making a change here. Harden's checked in. The Warriors also with a sub. Green is checked in. He hits the second from the line. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone by. Harden against Smith. Pass to Wiggins. Ooh, poked away. Just five to shoot. Shoots from the right block. And it's blocked by Embiid. Harris against Green. Harden with it. Melton with the ball. Takes the three. Second shot opportunity. Oh, the nice bucket inside from Embiid. Embiid's got nine points here in the second half. You know, every year Embiid seems to kick his scoring up just a notch. You know, I think he realizes how dominant he can be. And the Warriors call time here. Checked in. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Steve Kerr had to say to the team. He told his squad to pour on the gas, saying, quote, We hold the lead. Let's keep growing it. Be aggressive. This is no time to let up. And Allie, thanks. Sixers. Embiid's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Harris. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And now it's just a two-point Warrior lead. This is anyone's game now, and they have the momentum. Well, it starts with defense. They got some stops, scored some buckets after that, and now we've got ourselves a ball game. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. The three, Smith gets the three to fall. And the Warriors lead by five. This is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. Outside Thibault. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Pass to Wiseman. Harris gets Green. Shot clock at six. Green. A screen. Rebound by Embiid. 
Embiid's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Melton finds Embiid. Now Harden. Good. And the assist to Embiid. Harden's got 30. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Smith outside. Pass to Wiseman. Now Smith from deep. The rebound by Melton. Bible with it. To the middle. Here's Embiid. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. Golden State has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Smith outside. Outside, green. Four on the clock. Three, Smith. Golden State with a rebound. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. To take the lead, and block. That one goes careening off the glass. Green, the pass to Smith. Out to Thompson. Pass to Green. Smith outside. Trying to get back on track. And that one's long. It's clear he's totally out of sync. The team needs to rethink its strategy around what to do with him. Here's Embiid. Ooh, rejected by Wiseman. Inside. Green in the post. Harris on him. Out to Thompson. The three is up. And it's Harden who pulls down the rebound. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just keep the on him to miss those kind of shots. And then Beast throws it down. I tell you, Embiid's teammates absolutely love setting him up. I mean, they know he's going to finish strong every time. And the Warriors with possession here. After the Sixers picked up a basket a moment ago. And here's Wiggins. Shot clock at five. From deep. Dybul with the board. Dybul's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Harden. Dybul on the wing. Defended by Thompson. Dybul against Thompson. Dybul passes to Harden. The shot's good. And now a three-point Philadelphia lead. Boy, you look at the defense, not nearly the hustle or energy at that end of the floor. It's the exact opposite of what it was in the first half. Now here's Thompson. To stop the run. Oh, the bucket's good, and he'll have a chance at one more. That one on Melton. The defense had him confused early on, but he's responded in the second half with some assertive play. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Philadelphia. Well, you know, throughout this game, they've shot the ball extremely well from downtown. Their shooters are getting open and letting it fly. And also, the number of points they've scored in the paint has been impressive. This coaching staff encouraging them to keep going inside. And it's the Sixers for the ball. Harden, the pass to Tyler. Pass to Wiggins. Out to Thompson. Pocket six. Smith outside. Shoots over Thibel. And again, no good by Golden State. Oh man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Now here's Thibel. Outside Maxi. Fires 
the three. Thompson with some nice D. Golden State has gone two of six so far in the fourth. Smith passes to Wiseman. Harris against Green. Smith outside. 4-3. Offensive rebound. Wiseman finds Smith. To take the lead. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line from there. Well, you've got to do better than that against Smith Jr. Be careful how you defend him inside. Shooting for Golden State. Dennis Smith Jr. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. Falls that puts him up one point in the game now. Finally, getting himself to the free throw line. He was sitting back in the first half with no free throws to show for. Embiid. And then Embiid with the dunk. You like Embiid's confidence and willingness to step up in the big moment. And the Warriors shooting an average of 43% from the floor. Golden State calls timeout. Nice game. What a performance by James Harden. With the way he's cooking, they have to find a way to run him off his spot more. Here's Wiseman. Wiggins passes to Smith. Now here's Wiseman. Back to Smith. Outside. Green. Five to shoot. To the paint. Here's Wiggins. Oh, and he got the foul on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's all on the T-Stiebel. A decent free throw shooter is Wiggins trying to become more than that, but look at how often he gets himself to the line. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Wiggins. Wiggins drops them both. This is what makes him special, his ability to come through in these spots. Philadelphia has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Maxi passes to Embiid. Maxi against Thompson. And Maxi the bucket on the assist by Embiid. And the 76ers lead by one. Well, the Warriors shooting about 43% on this one. Here's Weisman. And a nice finish on the layup. Weisman's got 23. Boy, it's
It's been a grinder, a back and forth all night. Oh, seven times the lead has changed. A new team giving an inch. Now here's Embiid. The rebound goes to the Warriors. Thompson's got four rebounds in the game. Harden against Smith. Wiseman inside. High quality look as he sinks him. And now a three-point Warrior lead. And that's just nasty right there, guys. He has a tremendous crossover. Maxie with a screen on Smith. To the left side wing. Three-pointer and B. It's rebounded by Golden State. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Green the pass to Wiggins. Wiseman inside. B covers. Back to Wiggins. Wiseman a screen on Maxi. Wiggins for three. Sinks it from the distance. Slain and Lane all coming. Wiggins with the confidence to put the team on his back when it matters most. And Philadelphia calls time here. They trail by six. 41 seconds left in the fourth quarter. takes pride in and enjoys tricking his defenders and getting them to jump on the bump. Taking two shots. First free throw is good, and that brings him within five. Drops them both. Typically, Embiid makes the most of his free throw opportunities, which might make the defense really regret this foul. And an intentional foul right there. That's his first personal foul. Fifth team foul. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the fourth, and he commits the intentional foul. Fifth team foul. So 
Oh, the first one drops. And that puts him up five. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a six-point ball game. Making the most of this trip to the line and helping them extend their lead. And the 76ers call time here. They're down by six. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. from Poole, and they go to the intentional foul. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. But there was no time, really, to be selective. Stopping the clock was the priority. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He hits the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. He cannot convert on the second. That misses. And short of a miracle, they're walking out of here with a tough loss. They fought all night. A terrific effort. But they just couldn't make enough big plays. And so the Warriors take the win. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for them. They had to dig deep to come out on top. Yeah, you know, some teams might buckle under the pressure towards the end. The crowd was so amped up, such a hostile environment. But they stood tall and got the win. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Ali LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And now we present the New Balance player of the game, James Wiseman.